Good morning, guys. So, it's a little late in the day. I went shopping this morning, got some groceries, so I want to show you what I'm doing right now. I'm losing my voice, as you can tell. I coughed all night long. I feel good, like I don't have a headache, my ears don't ache, um, I don't have body aches, but my chest and my throat are killing me. And I just coughed all night long, so I gave in and I had to do prescription medication. Because I went to bed at 8 and I could not fall asleep, but it was 2 in the morning. So I ended up taking some NyQuil, which I hate taking medicine, but I did it and I fell asleep, I think, around 4. It really didn't work. I feel like, I don't know, it was because I'm like, this isn't going to work and it doesn't work because I'm telling myself it's not going to work or it just doesn't work on me. I don't know. So I eventually fell asleep from, I think, pure exhaustion from coughing all night long and my throat. I just sound horrible. I wasn't going to vlog today because I didn't want to talk too much, but... I don't think you mind if it's like a 10 minute vlog or something today, so I want to show you what I got from the grocery store. I'm going to make a huge green salad. I want to get this, get these greens in, get myself healthy. So I got the mixed um, organic spring mix, the lemon juice for Hank because he uses his every day in water, two organic bananas. I'm going to start doing more organic bananas because I literally probably consume maybe, what's two bananas times seven? 14 bananas a week, so might as well do organic. Yes, I had to count that in my head. I don't do math. <laughs> Mushrooms to put on my salad. I'm going to saute these up oil-free. I want to get rid of oil in my diet, or not get rid of it, but try to eliminate oil when I don't really need to oil stuff, so I'm going to fry these in water. And then I got some sweet bell peppers. I love these. They're sweet peppers. I love these. Bell peppers are really expensive right now. And tomatoes. Um, oh my gosh. So you guys know I love cauliflower. Cauliflower is like an extinction. Not really. But um, so I was seeing people post like cauliflower. $8, $10 for a head of cauliflower. And I've been looking for cauliflower for like four weeks now. My grocery stores and BJ's and stuff. Nobody has it. It's because they're on a shortage of cauliflower. Everyone's making cauliflower wings I guess. I don't know. A huge bowl of greens so I packed it with a lot of lettuce um, probably three cups of lettuce at least and then I added a couple croutons and onion some tomato packing the nutrients and uh, get healthy and I added about a tablespoon of a vinaigrette but this is what I found they were going for $300 each online. So this one, $600 for the stoles right here. I got two. I didn't pay anywhere near that price. They were pricey, but they were $300 each. So, oh my gosh. So this is actually organic mango wood from India um, with black steel. They're so freaking gorgeous, guys. And they go pretty well. They're pretty close to this color. Um, they're not exactly, this is rosewood, so it does have more pinks and reds into the wood, and these aren't glossed, so that's the only difference. But down to the black steel is amazing, and oh my gosh. That was really awesome, and then it actually even came with um, certificates. So I want to show you my vegan and cruelty-free purchases today at uh, Marshall's. I had a $25 gift card there too, so it wasn't too bad. This was $2.50, and it's sugar candy apple. And the only reason I bought it, it was on clearance, but right on this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't think it's ever going to, you'll be able to see. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sorry, guys. It's cruelty-free and vegan. This daily moisturizer, and it says right on it, no animal testing right here. And it says it's uh, vegetarian ingredients, and it's also vegan. There's no honey in it. Um, so this is kind of like a heftier one. Organic, cruelty-free, right on it, which is so exciting. And then it like, says no animal testing on it. So awesome. I love this. And then I tr decided to try one more vegan natural deodorant. So this also says cruelty-free and vegan. This for my Rejuvelac. It was I got done putting the dishes away, but I haven't shown you some of my most recent like vegan online purchases. So you guys know I'm going to try to start making vegan cheese myself. 
I was not happy with Daya changing their formula because now the smell off puts me a little bit. Before it was fine. Um, I'll still eat the Daya cheese, of course, but it was nowhere near as good as it used to be. Like, getting agar 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 agar. I can't talk. Um, xanthanum gum and carrageen. So this one, xanthanum gum, you see in a ton of food. Um, you go to the store and you'll look at like one of the last ingredients is usually xanthanum gum. This helps when you're trying to make, um, say dressing. This keeps the garlic or the spices from floating all the way to the bottom and everything else floating to the top. So it's like an emulsifier. So it's really good to have there's tons of things you can do with it, tons of things you can bake with it. It's really good if you're gluten-free. Um, this helps kind of make things rise. Same with the agar, agar, and the carrageen. It all does the same thing. Um, this is about $40 worth of products right here, which is crazy. But they don't expire for almost three years. They're all kind of from, I guess, the same batch um, of products. So I'm super excited about that because now I can make cheeses. Um, and this is going to help them firm up or, you know, gelatize. I can also make my own vegan gelatin if I want. I can also make my own vegan cheesecakes if I want. I can also make, you know, list goes on of things that I can use with all these three products. They're going to last a long time and we'll just experiment what we can do. I'm actually going to use an exanthem gum today and kind of make a pore strip facial with it today. I'm soaking red beans right now because I want to make red beans and rice for dinner. And then these are for the mozzarella cheese that I'm making. Um, I got these. So you guys know I got two of these and the hurrah chapsticks in a uh, vegan a vegan festival thing. And they were just giving bags out. And the ones I got were the moon and this cherry one. I love hurrah. Oh my gosh, I got these off iHerb. I'll put the link below. If you click the link, I think you get $5. And I think if you buy something, I get $5. I don't know. You're helping me out. And I'm helping you out. These are vegan, organic, and... Did I say raw? I don't know. I think I did. My memory is really bad. So, I ended up getting lime because I love lime. I got... I was going to say pomegranate. Not pomegranate. Grapefruit. Coconut. And this is called a pitta. Which I don't know what that means. It's coconut, mint, and lemongrass. And then these two I've had is the cherry and the moon, which is like a vanilla. And I love these. And I haven't been using them other than the pitta because I've been sick. And I don't want to contaminate the restroom. So the, this is my sick ball now. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like minty and fresh, which is nice. So we're going to try this like nose pore strip thing. I just got done making it. So all this is is water and xanthanum gum. And this is what I mean, it kind of coagulates or makes everything suspended so it makes it really light. Light. You can also put this in like coffees and make them like a light frothy coffee, almost like a cappuccino. So we're going to turn on all the lights. I'm going to find like a really cheap makeup brush to put it on with. And I feel like I don't have very many cheap makeup brushes. So I'm going to throw the rest of this out. Does anyone want to try with me? This is so gross. You could eat this if you wanted. I don't know, what could I make out of it? Glue. <laughs> it has no scent whatsoever, but it's pretty much water with a tiny bit of like that gelling agent in it. All right guys, so I'm actually starting my red beans and rice because it takes about an hour um, for everything to be completed. So I'm starting out with thyme, onions, and a little garlic. You can add some like celery if you want. I don't have any, but I put my thyme in first so the oils will kind of release from the thyme. Then I have some bay leaf I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start adding my water in now because my onions are translucent. Um, this is just kind of eyeball. I had to rinse my red beans off, but red beans and rice today. And then I actually have one tofu sausage in the refrigerator. I have more in the freezer, but so I don't really need a whole lot. All right, so everything seems really hard, so we're gonna pull it off. I almost think like it didn't do anything, but we'll see. I gotta take it off because the guy's coming over in a little bit. Oh, 
Uh, nothing. I don't think. So we are gonna try this. So as you can see, you, there's like this thin layer of bubbles on it. I sanitized everything. Everything was put through hot scorching water and some Dr. Bronner's soap. So everything's totally sanitized. So we're gonna try it. It's supposed to taste like a, kind of like a tart lemonade. This is fermented rejuvelac. So I'm just gonna kind of skim this off the top. I don't know, whatever that is. Take a little bit. All right, let's try it. A little bit like lemonade, more tangier. Mm, I definitely need to drink after that. Um, it's not, I want some water. It's not horrible, but in the back of my mind, it's like, ew, it's fermented. Why would I drink that? But then at the same time, like, I'm going to make cheese out of it. What is cheese? It's fermented. But it's one, it's one of those things, it's like, you don't think about it when it's on your plate, like how it's made, like yogurt or cheese or, you know, ooh, I just spilled this water everywhere. You don't think about, like, how it's made or where it comes from. Like, what are, what's it called? The B12, um, the, like the, the nutritional yeast that's grown on top of molasses, that's yeast, that's mold pretty much. But it never goes through your mind like that's how it's made. So I'm gonna see if I can make another small batch of Rejuvelac because that was six cups of water for one cup of um, sprouted wheat or it, wheat berries, not wheat berries, uh, buckwheat. So we'll see if we can get another batch out of that. We're pretty much looking for the same flavor and bubbly. It's supposed to be this cloudy, which is very cloudy, like lemonade looking water. And, it's perfect and there's bubbles forming on top so that means it's activated so now I'm going to try to make my cashew cheese and then this needs to ferment on the counter for two or three days so on to the next step and hopefully this works out too so I just finished we could call this cashew cheese if I let it sit out for you know eight hours and you could eat it then it would become tangier um, so we're gonna let this culture overnight room temperature uh, it's very cheesy right now cheesy looking like a spreadable cheese right now. So that's really cool I might try some of it. It tastes like cashews just ground up right now. It doesn't have too much of a flavor um, So what I did was put two or two cups I think of cashews in my blender a teaspoon of xanthamum gum and then the The rejuvelac and I'm not gonna tell you exact measurements because it's her book and I don't want to go to jail <laughs> But that's what we did and, um, yeah, so we're going to see in about no more than 24 hours, 8 hours for the minimum. So we're going to leave this overnight. I work the night shift tomorrow, so I'm going to let it sit overnight until tomorrow around 10 o'clock. And hopefully I'll vlog that. This might be two separate vlogs. Hopefully you don't, guys, you don't mind. Or should I make a one vlog? We'll see what happens at the end of the night. So red beans and rice still going on strong right now but I'm super excited for this book I think I'm gonna also try to make a almond cheese tonight or start the process because everything needs to sit and ferment for so long so I was going to add some sausage to this but this looks good itself so we got the rice and then the red beans and it's kind of like a gravy because I didn't add too much water so it's pretty thick and I'm just gonna mix this all together and enjoy it oh my gosh it smells so good all right guys so I found the coolest app ever for vegans or vegetarians so you scan the barcode it will tell you if it's vegan vegetarian or sometimes it doesn't know so I've been scanning a couple things in the fridge to see if it's pretty smart and it's pretty smart so I have a scanner thing on right now so if we'll scan Parmesan cheese of course it's not vegan um, and this is Hank's, not mine. So we're going to put it on the scanner. It is scanning. And then it tells you grated Parmesan um, plastic canister, which fits what up. Oh. It also has 
you can pay for like not the one that has ads, but I don't really care. So it tells you three ingredients may, may not be vegetarian and three vegan ingredients are in here. And then it tells you may be non-vegetarian. Um, and they just talk about the cheese, the skim milk, and they talk about what's vegan in there. And then they also tell you the ingredients list, which is so cool. And then, um, so say you scan something. So let's, we have these salts over here. So let's scan these salts. So it tells you what it is. It's a seasoning salt and it says definitely vegan. This app is so cool. So say you're out at the grocery store and it, do it doesn't know every time, but say you're at the grocery store and you see something and you're like, ooh, that might be vegan. I'm not sure. Go around the freaking store and scan everything and find out if it's vegan or not. That's so cool. I, I what is it called? Is it vegan? I think the app's called. You can pay for it, which is like four bucks or you can get the free one, but it has freaking ads every minute. But, yeah, it says, is it vegan? Check that out in your app store if you have a smartphone. So cool. So cool. So, I was looking for meat products in here, but honestly, we have one meat thing, and I'm pretty sure it won't even be on there. Nothing in my fridge is meaty, other than the freezer. There's a lot of meat in the freezer. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm so excited, guys. I found another cool app. I love this. This turned out so beautiful. Oh. Thanks for watching today's vlog. There's some links below. Check them out. Snapchat, I'm always on there. I snap at least once a day, maybe more. And you, the next vlog you'll see, it will be the beginning of the mozzarella, like me finishing the mozzarella and then starting another cheese. So you won't miss out of me making vegan mozzarella for the first time. I wish I could have done like one whole day of it, but it's like a six day process to make fermented mozzarella. And I don't have that kind of time <laughs> just to film like one thing. So if this turns out, I might do like a whole like YouTube video on my other incredible edibles on like tips to make the vegan cheese or my own like vegan cheeses that I come up with myself because I thought that would be a really cool one because I can't use someone else's recipe and be like, this is what I made. It's not right. Like everything I make, it's always like it might be someone else's recipe, but it might be someone's six other people's recipe all put into one and then it's my recipe it's no one else's recipe anymore does that make sense i need a drink before i start coughing so it's getting late so i gotta take a shower i'm gonna take my medicine hank said he tried to wake me up this morning he couldn't wake me up so that medicine obviously worked which is scary but the, my cough it gets so bad the later it gets i don't know what's someone told me something with the moon and the pulling and stretching i really don't know I just, my cough's really bad and you can tell I'm losing my voice. All right, bye guys.